everybody. Welcome back. My name is Prentice from Oldham's Half Acre Homestead down here in Lebanon, Tennessee. Today I'm going to show y'all how I fertilize my fig trees before spring gets here. Well, spring's here already, but they haven't woken up, so we're going to feed them right now. I'm going to show y'all what I use. Some cheap stuff, but it don't matter. Soil conditioner, the cheap brand from Lowe's, compost, manure, cheap Lowe's, organic Dr. Earth from 5-5-T, and I mix it all up in this pot right here, I got it all mixed, and this is right here from 10-10-10, I'm going to throw a little healthy dose of that in there and mix it in as well. And I got that in there. Take my little hefty little garden tool. Mix it all up real good. Get down there with your hands. That's not doing too good. right there and so I'm gonna take it come on over here first up my cadota or none of that putting handfuls all the way around. That's it. Handfuls all the way around. See my old nemesis coming up. Can't get rid of Bermuda grass, crab grass, whatever you call it around here. I don't know what it is. I call it pain in my rear. Yeah. As I get it put down, come back with my little garden tool and work it in onto the surface just a little. I'll come back and water that in. Some good rain water. Come on over to the brown turkey. Same thing with the brown turkey. Move some of that straw down off of it. The reason why I'm trying to do this is because these trees are starting to come into some age. And what I like to 
see them grow a lot more and harden off more before winter comes. Get some of that hard wood like this. Maybe more to come back each year. Okay. That's it for him. Next up, it's two right here. It's a Texas Everbearing tag I just ripped off. Texas Everbearing. It's right here. The one right beside us is the Ellis. Clean up around him a little bit. Scratch that in too good. It looks like some of the roots was exposed back there. Probably did when I was moving that mulch aside. <coughs> it looked like a, either a dog or a deer or something. I stepped here up here on this LSU purple. Get over here. Come on. Get out of them weeds. Set. Got good dirt under there. That's off my wood chips and straw. Been put down here for a couple years, three years. So this ain't nothing but clay soil here. If you know anything about Tennessee, nothing but red clay. You got about two inches of topsoil, and the rest is clay soil. I said I was going to move these trees this fall. It's up there. The reason why I want to move them is because, as you can see, this is all low grade here. And I think if I move them up where they're higher grade and plant them up higher, or like on the mound, like I got the last couple that I planted, I think they'll do a lot better. But I hate to, to, to make them slow down and stress that following year because I know I probably won't get anything right now I haven't really been getting much I'm hoping this year will be a better year with the figs that's another reason why I'm putting all of this down on them oh I didn't say but this is another brown turkey None of them have woken up yet. I'm trying to wait to see 
when they wake up where's the dead growth at so I can cut it out yeah. I'm gonna have to mix up some more for that Olympic fig over there big mama that's what I call her the biggest and the oldest one I got she's the only one really producing besides that Kadota Kadota we had a few off head last year and uh the Fialis the rest of them really hadn't seen much <coughs> oh, I won't hold y'all up no more that's all I want to show you how I take care of my figs well, I'm taking care of them this year. Anyway. Y'all have a good day. Love what you're doing. Grow y'all. Hold them.